there's an adjustment period going on for the Charlottesville community. As more people pitch tents in Market Street Park, business owners and others downtown are coming to grips with an issue that has no easy answer. NBC 29's Maggie Glass shows us how this is changing the city. It's our top story at five. The park is in the hub of downtown Charlottesville. Every day, people walk by on their way home to eat, to shop. Now, the tent city grows even as Potsdam announces it will be opening its doors early October 21st. I think for somebody who's trying to decide where they're going to go shopping, it may make them think twice. Joan Fenton is the owner of J. Fenton 2, a clothing store on the downtown mall. She says she's seen this problem before. The city every year has a surplus. Every year they've known that there is a problem. The city has allowed people to remain in the park overnight since September 21st. This has moved many unhoused people off of the downtown mall and into the park. We have a, um, a goddaughter who's three years old and we, we can't play in, in the park anymore. Grace Klonowski's apartment overlooks the park. She says with more unhoused people coming to the area, she feels less safe. But we can't go to the library either. Um, we're afraid to go in there. Jefferson Madison Regional Library's Central Branch is the closest public restroom for park dwellers. JMRL Central Library has always been one of the most public buildings in downtown Charlottesville. The library's director says its facilities have always been used by the unhoused. The problem is the library closes at 9 p.m. This building is 100% um, free and open to the public as long as the building is open. One thing all agree on, the city needs a more permanent solution. It's a humanitarian crisis that the city has to address. The city says it's working to find answers on issues raised with the unhoused community. In Charlottesville, Maggie Glass, NBC 29 News.